question from the interfacing devices. Yeah, first of all, go through the question. ALE is used. This is also one of the important uh, pin uh, which is used in all microprocessors because uh, this, this is used to demultiplex the address and data lines, right? So every microprocessor consists of address and data lines, internally multiplexing lines. Let us assume here eight data lines and eight address lines are multiplexers. So these lines are acts as a AD02, AD7. So what is the necessity to multiplex these lines, data bus and address bus, to reduce the number of lines, to reduce the number of pins? Sir, address and data lines are multiplexed internally, but externally we want separate bus, address bus separate and data bus separate, right? So to reduce the number of lines, right? But uh, uh, here address and data is there, so if the both are multiplexed, uh, it does not affect on the external operation because according to the external operation, either address bus or uh, data bus should be in active position. So if the address bus is activated, data bus not used. And if the data bus is activated, address bus is not used, right? Those type of lines are acts as a multiplexing lines to reduce the number of pins here, right? So now, uh, let us assume here uh, eight data lines and eight address lines are multiplexed uh, to separate, uh, right? To separate or to uh, demultiplex, to demultiplex address and data lines purpose, one separate line is used, that line is a ALE, ALE, address latch enable, address latch enable, which is used to demultiplex address and data, which separates the address bus and data bus. So whenever this line is high, all these lines are acts as address lines, so A0 to A7, and if it is low, this line is low, then these lines are acts as data lines D0 to D7. So demultiplexing of address and data or to separate the address and data ALE line is used, right? Now go through the options. Sir. Increases the number of interrupts, so this one is wrong. Uh, yeah, synchronize uh, with the slow devices, this one is also wrong. And perform DMA, this one is also wrong. And last one is a latch address from the multiplexer bus, right? So from the multiplexer bus to separate address and data purpose, this line is used, that is address latch enable. So according to the given statements, fourth statement is the correct one uh, for the given question, right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question uh, from this uh, concept, uh, 8KB chip needs, yeah, this is also one of the interfacing, one of the important uh, question. So these type of questions also expected from the microprocessor concepts and interfacing devices, right? So here one simple uh, concept is given 8KB. This 8KB is access memory. So just I want to explain few important points uh, uh, related to the memory now, right? So yes, <clears throat> yeah. So memory is standard size. Memory standard size represent uh, standard size is explained by this representation 2 to the power of n by m. Right, this is the standard representation of the memory, right? So in this, uh, uh, this 2 power n, n explains the number of address lines, number of address lines, right? n explains the number of address lines that uh, these address lines are used to determine the memory capacity. So memory capacity is depends on which lines now? address line. This is also one of the important objective type uh, uh, question, right? Memory capacity, the external memory capacity is depends on the which lines, address lines. Uh, using n address lines, n address lines, how, man, how much memory uh, can access here that memory capacity should be 2 to the power of n because using n bits, uh, the possible combinations are 2 power n. This memory also performs the operation in terms of digital layer. So we have to take the concept from the digital, right? So this n explains the number of address lines. So using, using uh, uh, n address lines, using n address lines, uh, the maximum possible memory capacity is 2 to the power of n, right? And here one more number also there, that is m. M, m is also called as word length, word length, right? So this uh, word length depends on the which lines now, data lines. Word length depends on the data lines. So at a time, how much memory, how much data it can transfer, that is explained by the data lines. See, this uh, number of address lines are used to select the memory location. And after selecting the location, data bus has to perform read and write operations. So at a time, how many bits it can read, that is explained. 
it can read or it can write. So at a time, so eight, eight bits or 16 bits, that is explained by this word length, right? So word length is here, I'm taking M here. So that means internal it has how many data lines? M number of data lines. So here you have to remember a few important points. Using N address lines, M data lines, right? Let us take this is one memory now. It is one memory. It consists of N number of address lines, just I'm writing like this. And it has a M number of data lines. Then the memory capacity should be 2 to the power of N by M, right? Now here uh, memory capacity is given. So memory capacity given. From that we have to identify the number of address lines and number of data lines. That purpose first of all you have to write the complete representation in terms of uh, the standard form, right? So 8 KB I am writing now. 8, uh, 8 is I am writing as a 2 to the power of 3 because you have to write in this model, right? 2 to the power of N by M representation. So 8 is nothing but 2 to the power of 3. And K, K is a kilo. In binary language, kilo is nothing but 2 to the power of 10, right? Just try to remember that one. 2 to the power of 10 is acts as a kilo, right? So, uh, 2 to the power of 10 is kilo. So, K explains the 2 to the power of 10. And B, capital B explains the byte. Byte is nothing but 8 bits. So, right in terms of bits representation, right? Now, if you write the standard form, so bases are equal power should be added. So 2 to the power of 13 by 8. Now this explains the number of data lines. So how many data lines it requires now? 8 data lines it requires according to the given uh, problem, right? And this explains the number of address lines. So according to the given question, so how many address lines internally it has? Uh, 13 address lines. So 8 KB memory requires 13 address lines and 8 data lines. Now go through the options. So 8KB chip needs uh, 10 address lines wrong. Using 10 address lines, the memory capacity is uh, 1KB, right? Uh, 12 address lines. Using 12 address lines, the memory capacity is uh, 2 to the power of 12, that is 4KB, right? So 13 address lines is the correct one, right? And this one is also wrong. Using 11 address lines, right here, 2 to the power of 11, that means 2 to the power of 1 into 2 to the power of 10. Then we can write 2 kilo. And byte compressor, that is word length. Word length is uh, common. Generally, we can take here byte representation. So 2 KB memory and here 1 KB possible, here 4 KB possible, but using 13 address lines, 8 KB memory possible. So according to the given question, uh, option 4 correct. And try to remember the standard representation. So this, this is used to determine the number of address lines, number of data lines. And using address lines and data lines, memory capacity. So these points are important, right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the interfacing devices. Uh, how many address lines are there in 64 GB? Yeah, this is one also similar to the previous question. 64 GB given here, right? GB. See, 2 to the power of 10 is kilo, right? And similarly, we can write 2 to the power of 20. 2 to the power of 20 is nothing but 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 10. That part we can write like this, kilo into kilo. That becomes now mega, right? And one more is 2 to the power of 30 now. 2 to the power of 30 is 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 10. So this is access now giga, right? Now the question is clearly mentioned here, 64 GB, 64. Write the 64 number in terms of 2, 2 power. So that becomes now 2 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 4, uh, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 2 power 3 is 8. 2 power 4 is 16. 2 power 5 is 32. And 2 power 6 is 64. So 64 is equal to 2 power 6 into giga. Giga is nothing but 2 to the power of 30 into byte explains the 8. Uh, then right here, 2 to the power of 36 by 8. So this requires... Uh, how many address lines now? 36 address lines and uh, 8 data lines. Uh, now go through the question. Yeah, 36. Uh, so according to the given question, option 2 correct. Right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the interfacing devices. Which port of 8255A PPI can be split into two offs? Right? Uh, so just now I explained uh, 8255 in previous video, in last video I have explained clearly 8255 has 
8255 has how many IO lines? 24 IO lines, right? These 24 IO lines are divided into different ports. One port is a port A and another is a port B, right? And another one is port C. Okay, what is port here? Group of eight line is called group of eight lines is called a uh, one port. Uh, so each port consists how many lines? Eight lines, eight lines, eight lines. But uh, this port C, whatever the port C here, this port C is divided into again two offs, two parts here. One part is called PCH and another is called PCL. So port C higher nibble and port C lower nibble. And each part consists four lines, four lines, right? These lines names we can write like this PC02, PC3 and uh, PC42, PC7. Totally four, four lines are there, right? So port A acts as a completely eight lines and port B acts as eight lines, but port C is divided into two of uh, one of consists four lines, another of consists four lines. Those are also called as PCH, P port C higher nibble, PCL port C lower nibble. So I got into the given question. Now which port can be split into two of? So that should be port C only. So we can select now option three correct according to the given question, right? Yes, please take this now. Yeah, another question uh, from the interfacing devices. Uh, 8259 chip works as. 8259. So last video I have explained clearly. 8259 acts as a pick programmable interrupt controller. So these these IC number, IC number and IC function and uh, the number of pins those are important, right? So 8251 acts as USART serial communication interfacing device. 8253, 8253 acts as a timer interfacing device. 8255. 8255 acts as a PPI, so programmable peripheral interface. It acts as IO interfacing device. And 8257 is a DMA controller, direct memory access. So it acts as a DMA controller, direct memory accessing purpose 8257 is used and 8237 also used. And one more I see is 8259. 8259 is a interrupt control device. It's also called as PIC programmable interrupt controller. So these are five interfacing devices are used in uh, microprocessor to interface the external uh, devices, right? One more also there that is 8279. 8279 acts as a keyboard come display controller. 8279 acts as keyboard, keyboard come display controller. Just try to remember the names, uh, names and uh, IC number and function of the IC, right? So here 8259 is acts as an interrupt controller. So according to the given question, option one correct, right? Yes, please take this now. Yeah, another question from the interfacing devices, the BSR and IO modes of 8255 are selected by the, yes. BSR is nothing but a, a bit set reset, right? BSR is a bit set reset and IO input and output. So 8255, 8255 can operates in two modes, right? 8255 can operates in two modes. One mode is called BSR mode bit set reset mode bit set reset mode and another mode is the IO mode input and output mode right another mode is the IO mode input and output mode so again this IO mode operates uh, means again it is classified into three types means it is uh, internally it operates in another three modes those are mode 0 right mode 1 and mode 2 okay so these are the operating modes these are comes under IO mode so sometimes we can expect the question how many IO modes of 8255 then you have to write 3 and total operating modes are 2 BSR mode and IO mode so to select the BSR mode and IO mode from the control word register this is one register here control word register this register is a 8 bit register Okay, control word register is a 8 bit register which is used to control the internal operation right these 8 bits are divided like this so from this this bit d7 bit d7 bit is used to select the mode d7 bit is used to select the mode if it is 1 if it is 1 then it selects the it operates in IO mode 
and if it is zero then operates in a bsr mode bit set reset mode so this msb bit of control or register is used to select the type of the mode if the msb bit is one then the 8255 operates in IO mode and MS bit is 0, then the 8255 operates in BSR mode, bit set reset mode. Now the question is here, the BSR and IO modes of 8255 are selected by the D7 bit of control word register. This bit position is also called as D7 and this one is a D0, D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. So this bit is MSB, most significant bit. It is used to select the type of mode of operation. So D7 bit is used to select the mode of operation. So according to the given question, option one correct, right? Yes, please take this now. Yeah, another question from the interfacing device is group A signals. Okay, uh, here signals are, uh, ah, some mistake is there, just right. Group A signals of 8255 consist of, right. See, uh, uh, this 8255, 8255 uh, consists totally three ports, right, port A, port B, port C. Uh, and within the internal operation, according to the internal operation, this uh, 8255 completely, these ports are divided into two groups. So one group is called group A, right? And another is called group B, group B. So totally uh, the complete operation, according to the internal requirement, complete uh, uh, IO lines are divided into two groups here, group A and group B, right? This group A consists of two ports, one is port A, port A, 8 lines, because each group consists totally 12 lines only. Each group consists totally 12 lines, right? So, from this port A, group A uh, uh, consists of port A and uh, one more part of port C, upper. Port C, upper consists how many lines? 4 lines. So, these are, these two are comes under group A. To perform the external operations, uh, uh, sometimes we required acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is nothing but handshaking signals are required here. So this port C, port C lines are acts as handshaking signals in few modes, right? So that purpose, this port C divided into two parts, uh, four bits and four bits. One part is called PCH and another part is called PCL. PCL is nothing but port C lower nibble. So that is also consists four lines. Now. Port C, H is comes under port A. So combination of these two is acts as group A and uh, group B consists of port B, port B eight lines, right? And uh, another is port C, port C lower part. So four lines, that means PCL, PCL is required, right? So total number of lines, 12 lines. So port group A, group B. So now according to the given question, Group A signal consists of port A and port C upper. Yeah, PCH or we can call it as a PCU also. PCU. And this one is lower. Okay. So, uh, which part is now? Port A and port C upper. These two are comes under group A. Right. Yeah. So, according to the given question, option 1 correct. Right. Yes. Please take this now. If you want more videos uh, from the other subjects like not only this and remaining other subjects, uh, if you want more number of, uh, number of videos, so please uh, download the app SpaceGate uh, and uh, take the admission either online or offline.